go to egress. That'd be that. That'd be, uh, might be our T-Rat on the uh, handrail. Copy two fish, and a reminder that you'll want that red on handrail 261 Alpha. It's on 261 Alpha. You know, with uh, visor down right now, Peggy? I actually have mine open right now. Right. I'm in the shadow over here. handle down. The right tab is up. That safer handle is down. You need to move the camera so I can see your left tab. Okay, both of those are up and you have a green light on your WVS, so you look pretty good there. We'll take a baseline half check from both of you. for one. Right for two. Okay, copy all. Those are good buddy checks. Peggy, you'll be leading the translation. As you know, you'll be translating up to the EPIC MDM work site, just port of the Cetus Spur on phase one. And two fish, as you know, you'll be translating to the lab handrail 258 nadir on the lab via the high pressure gas tank and the gap spanner. Happy that. See you later, Peggy. All righty. Good luck. Thank you. A four man sailor around the uh, EPFR there next to the toolboxes. Clear to get back to the lock. Awesome, thanks. I'm on phase one, and at the work site, or at least next to the work site. Copy, Peggy. You'll be temp stowing your MDM ORU bag on top of the Nader MDM, suggested tethering to the CETA handrail. Okay, I got my green hook down on 253. Copy, green hook on 253. Two fish, I have some warnings and a caution for you. Stay one foot from the UHF antennas. Do not translate on the gap spanners, which are restraining the Node 3 lab ammonia jumpers. And a caution, when you get over to the lab forward end cone, do not use the EWIS antennas as a handrail. Copy that. Two fish, while leaving your BRT RET attached to handrail 261 alpha, you can temp stow the EWC handrail bundle over on handrail 258 using both fish stringer large hooks. Copy, 258. Got one. CE2 down on the Cedar trail. Move mine, and then I'm going to probably put the other one down just so we'll have it kind of controlled. Copy.
And Peggy, once you have that stow complete, I'll take a glove and hap check from you. Okay, okay. I'm going to get it stowed so I'll inspect the table on the other ethic. I messed that one up. Cap is still dry, and gloves are still great. No damage. Copy, Peggy. Uh, the NBM like number is 16 Echo dash 0102. Copy, Peggy. That is as expected. Since we do have the time for it, we would like you to take a minute to photograph the MDM and the receptacle in the area using your GoPro, and we'll take a view in your WVS as well. All right. And two fish, a reminder, during your stow, you'll want 262 alpha against the lab structure, since the first one you'll be removing is 261 alpha. This one I'll be installing. Yeah. Got 261 on my VRT. I have all three wire ties removed. With both ends of the fish stringer on 258. I have the jack cap, 261, antenna coming off. Copy all two fish. Six. And two fish, another warning and caution for you. Once installed, do not contact the EWC antenna boom as it could spring back. And once installed, do not BRT to the EWC antenna handrails. Copy that. All right, Peg, looks like you already have your BRT on 3445. You can retrieve the RET hook from the ORU bag lid. It's on the inside of the lid and attach it to the failed MDM tether point, of course, the Zenith MDM that you're looking at. And Two Fish, I see you are on your way to handrail 257. Alpha, good EMI band. I don't know if you can see it in the WVS, but it looks good. No damage. Copy, Peg. Good inspection. You may or may not need to restrain that Ethernet cable. Uh, suggestion you could maybe restrain that to 3445 or 3446 if it's going to be your, in your way for the R&R. &R. Two fish, you'll be sliding handrail 261 alpha aft to forward into the OH seat track. Reminder, the antenna boom should be facing towards lab forward. That. And Peggy, you'll first be releasing the secondary bolts, expecting 7 to 14 turns. I'll be secondary first. I'll work on starboard first. 7 to 14. It's 13 turns. Uh, and it springs back by hand. Copy, Peggy, 13 turns, and the bolt sprung out. Okay, they're in and pushed. Ready for settings. Copy, two fish. Your settings are alpha two, clockwise two, one minute from a very brief LOS. A two clockwise, two, and nine turns, right? You'll be driving those bolts 15 turns to 15 turns max 
to a hard stop, yes, expecting nine. The port uh, secondary vault is out and springs back to the test. Copy, Peggy. You can release the primary bolt, expecting 25 to 32 turns. Same settings. A from same settings. Um, Bravo on clockwise. Good to work, 3.0, 8.1 turns on the aft bolt. Copy. I got a low torque message after five turns. Uh, the torque is 3.5. Copy, Peggy. Low torque after five turns, 3.5. Stand by. And two fish, I got your report from the aft bolt. Did you have your report from the forward bolt as well? I'm uh, trying to get that red off. Can I get GMD in? It's off now, moving to the forward bolt. Copy. And Peg, we're still checking with the back room here. Stand by. No problem. Okay, Peggy. First of all, please check that you don't have any side loads. And then we're going to drive that bolt one more turn. Bravo 1, clockwise 2. Bravo 1, clockwise. Work bolt done, Jessica. Get torque light 3.1 on the torque, 8.6 on the uh, turns. Copy two fish. Please perform a tug test on the handrail. Turn complete. Likewise. Copy, Peggy. One turn complete. And two fish, looks like you're working on releasing the cable wire tie from the antenna boom. You'll be securing that to the handrail. And did you get a good tug test? I sure did. Copy. Twenty turns, and as I was pulling it off, I got a low torque, but I think it's fine. Copy, Peg. Stand by. Okay, Peggy, we concur it looks good, and you think it's fully released? Can check it. Nope, not quite. Okay, Peggy, you can reattempt releasing those same settings, Bravo 1, counterclockwise 2. Bravo 1, counterclockwise 2 set. And 2 fish, please ensure that the boom aligns with the handrail base alignment marker. Okay, it's fully released now. I did a total of 26, but I think it was out before then. Copy, Peggy. You can temp still your PGT. Okay. And two fish, you confirmed good alignment? Two fish, you confirmed good alignment? Yep. Copy that. I see you're headed back to retrieve the next handrail. You'll be reading to 262 Alpha and releasing that from the fish stringer. Copy that. All right, Peg, you'll be sliding the failed MDM along the guide rails to remove it. And as you do so, whenever is a good time, we'll take an inspection of the blind mate connections on both the MDM and the truss side. Turn looks good. A little scratches on it. I think you've got all these steps memorized, Two Fish, but as you know, you'll be releasing the jack cap from Juliet 5 Alpha onto the, with the fish stringer. I do that anywhere. Yes, yeah, I think, you know, it's hard for me to BRT to um, 257. That, that was a little tricky on the last one. 
I'm going to try uh, going topsy turvy on this one and uh, going to, uh, I believe it's 266.